It crashed. The car just blew the back fence. This is what Tito Perez and his family woke up to early Saturday morning. Oh my God. A car in their dining room, chandeliers, TVs, anything in its way turned into projectiles. It felt like, like a you know, magnitude 20 earthquake. It shook the whole house, everything fell from the wall. All while his two teenage daughters and their three friends slept in the living room, they were celebrating a 17th birthday with a sleepover and only suffered minor scratches. We just heard a ton of screaming from downstairs. We came running. The girls were all, you know, obviously in shock. Tustin police say the driver of the silver Toyota Camry not so lucky. Investigators say the man in his early 20s who was not wearing a seatbelt died in this crash. His passenger, a juvenile female, survived. Detectives working to see whether alcohol or drugs are involved, but say the driver was speeding down San Juan Street. When you look at it, you just estimate anywhere from 80 to 100 just on the damage. This surveillance video footage from a nearby home shows a car racing through the street just seconds before the impact. We're looking into cameras down the street to see if we can maybe follow and backtrack them and see where they came from initially. The Camry making its way across the sidewalk and Greenbelt through a cinder block wall and into the home, leaving a family without a roof over their head grateful to be alive. It could be anybody's last day. You know, we leave one day at a time and we thank God for every single day, every single minute. Perez says the inside of his home is filled with pieces of cinder block like this one with rebarb. Now, police say that female passenger is recovering in the hospital from minor injuries, and she was wearing her seatbelt. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.